finding exact values for trigonometry given data. Example, sine 210 degrees, find the exact values. What you need to do, first of all, is to draw the y-axis and an x-axis to be able to locate the ray of where 210 degrees lies on. And in this case, it lies on the third quadrant. In the third quadrant, I can place a line from the origin and label this 210 degrees. Now, how do I know that it's 210? From here to here is 90 degrees. Because we start from the positive x-axis when whenever we're measuring in degrees. And if we go counterclockwise, it's 90 degrees here. And then we have 180 there. And how much more to reach 210 degrees? So we think about 180 degrees. 180 degrees plus what is 210? That's going to be 30 degrees. So we're going to write that angle as 30 degrees. That is called the reference angle. Okay. We draw we draw a triangle, and in this triangle, it becomes a right triangle, and we know it's at 30 degrees. So we know that's 30 degrees. We know that this angle is 60 degrees. Okay. We can place values around the three sides because 30, 60 right triangle is a special right triangle. So let me remind you. These are the ratios for 30, 60, 30, 60 degrees, 90 degrees as a certain ratio. And you learned this in geometry. You first saw this in geometry. Opposite to the 30 degrees, we have the value of 1. Opposite to the 60 degrees, we have a value of square root of 3. Opposite to the 90 degrees, we have a value of 2. So we place those values around there. Opposite to the 30 is 1. Opposite to the 60, which is here, is square root of 3. Opposite to the 90 is 2. Okay, so we know that those are the values that we place around that triangle. One, one other thing that we need to implement here is what are the signs of these two values here. This value here is on the left side of the origin. So this value, any x values, relate to that. So if the values here are negative, so therefore this value is negative. We're going to put a negative there. Vertically, it's below the origin. So any values below the origin on, the, on a vertical line are negative. So therefore, this is negative. So now we have the signs of, that are appropriate for this triangle. Our hypotenuse net is always positive for these problems. So then we can continue. What is sine of 210? Well, what we know is sine is, in trig we learned that it's opposite over hypotenuse. Okay. But what is opposite to what? We know that automatically this would be the hypotenuse. So let me put that label there. This is hypotenuse right there. But is this opposite? Is this adjacent? Is this opposite or is this adjacent? Well, it's talking about what is opposite in the eyes of reference data. So your reference data is 30. So from that perspective, we know that this side is opposite and this side is adjacent to reference data. So now we can answer the question. Opposite is the value of negative 1. Hypotenuse is the value of 2. 
So the answer is negative one half.